funny how going on a forced diet can make a week seem interminable. But now the hiatus is finally over and it's time to fill our hearts and bellies with Greasy Mellow's delicious offerings. Thankfully, there aren't any cold, soggy leftovers here. Instead, countless appetizing meals are made, relationships are established, battles are fought, and the kitty finds a home. Episodes 23 to 26 WECAP Chiel Sung tries to act cool as he tells Gum Granny that he's not used to having a mother so she shouldn't come around again. Despite being an orphan and a gangster, he's managed to make something of himself by owning a building, including the restaurant. The only thing he wants to know is why she abandoned him at a Chinese restaurant when he was a child. Gum Granny says it's just because that's the kind of food she liked the most. Chiel Sung, hurt by her selfishness, is not as cool as he seems. He angrily tells Gum Granny should have at least paid for the meal, instead of forcing him to become a thief over a mere few thousand won. He leaves a one million won note with her and tells her that he'll pay for the meals she likes so much, then he walks out. He passes by the cheering Happy Wok staff, who are delighted to get the doctor banquet, but he doesn't see the awkwardly long hug between Poon and S.A. Wu, which Poon tries to cover up by hugging everyone else. Ha. Finally, Chiel Sung allows the emotion from meeting his mother to hit him, and he cries. But only for a moment, then he puts his sunglasses back on. Poon immediately gets to work creating a menu for the banquet. S.A.E. Wu suggests jajangmyeon and sweet and sour pork, since those are two classic dishes that the hotel always refused to serve. However, the VIP guest calls to let Poon know that Master Wang offered to make her a hotel quality dish for the same price as Happy Wok, and she can't pass it up. She still really wants the jajangmyeon and sweet and sour pork, so is swayed back to Happy Wok when Poon tells her the menu he's planned. But Master Wang is also desperate and tells her that they'll make those dishes specially for her. Which leads Poon and Master Wang to face off in a cooking competition, with the VIP guest as judge, Lucky Her. They each have their spin on sweet and sour pork and jajangmyeon, and the VIP guest deems them equally good. However, Poon's dish kept the true essence of jajangmyeon that reminded her of her childhood, so she ultimately selects Happy Wok. Yay, S.A. Wu finds the kitty. She says it needs a home, and Chiel Sung offers to be its mother. Or, S.A.E. Wu says that she'll be the kitty's dad, then. She names the kitty Dim Sum. E, too cute. S.A.E. Wu notices that something seems different about Chiel Sung, and he admits that he feels sad, lonely, and angry. So she gives him Dim Sum to hold, explaining that children actually give more than they receive. Or, S.A.E. Wu's advice on how to take care of Dim Sum actually gives Chiel Sung the important lessons on how to deal with his recent parental discovery. Poong is thrilled about his victory over Master Wang, but Chiel Sung's boys are more focused on investigating giant hotel's suspicious funds. Poong's attempt to distract them so he can brag about his success is utterly ignored. The gangsters have discovered that the hotel is having a hard time with money because they teamed up with a crooked construction owner for their renovations, and now the unpaid workers are protesting in the banquet halls, which means the money-making banquets are being cancelled and Giant Hotel must be taking out loans somewhere. He tries to downplay the success when he sees S.A. Wu, and acts so awkwardly around her as he repeatedly asks her out, then says it's better she go home. Finally fed up with his confusing actions, she heads to the bus stop. Poon asks her not to leave, but she does anyway. Frustrated with himself, Poon sprawls out on the bus bench, regretting his ridiculous actions that made S.A.E. Wu leave. But S.A.E. Wu surprises him by returning. She demands that he stop flip-flopping in the way he treats her, then rattles off a highly detailed, petty list of things she hates that directly relate to him and are ways to prevent her from liking him. Poon wonders if she hates him, but S.A. Wu says she actually hates herself for being this way. In the morning, Chiel Sung finds Gum Granny leaving a note on his door that says she'll do as he wishes and never come to see him again. He ignores the note and drags Gum Granny to the restaurant. The staff is surprised to see Gum Granny, but they're even more surprised when Chiel Sung says that she's his mother. Thanks to S.A.E. Wu's kitty conversation last night, he's decided to accept Gum Granny's parentage as a gift and a blessing. Gum Granny is still ashamed, but Poon sweetly offers to make her breakfast. Or, oh, Gum Granny tried to abandon her only son again, but instead she's found a whole new family. Poon meets with Bo Ra, who begs him to let her come work at Happy Wok. 
she pleads forgiveness, insisting she only helped steal the recipe notebook because she wanted to keep her job at the hotel. He says that all the hotel staff agreed that he was the better chef in the cook-off. Poon says she should stay at the hotel since it will be a better learning experience for her, but she's welcome to drop by Happy Walk whenever she wants. They're both very drunk by the end of their meeting, and Poon calls Marain Dal, asking that he send anyone but Sae Wu to go with him to the market. Surprise, surprise, who should arrive except Sae Wu, under the impression Poon specifically requested she join him. Ha, huh. she's curious why he wanted her when all the other kitchen staff was available, pfffd, and Poon says it's because he missed her, or... He also apologizes for lying to her, him being at the hospital that day wasn't a dream. Amused, S.A. Wu says that if he got so close to her to warm her up at the hospital, it's strange that he's keeping his distance from her now. She says it feels like that night when they agreed to have an affair, and Poong suddenly leans in and gives her a peck on the lips, just like he did that night in the car. Poong confesses that he actually likes her, even more than he likes Chiel Sung, that he can't stop liking her, and asks that she not hate him anymore, cause he's now being honest. Then he leans in to kiss her again, but this time it's a real kiss. Sae Wu also admits that she likes him, then wonders what'll happen now. Poon doesn't see the problem since they both like each other. He also promises that from now on, he'll love her more than she loves him and he'll never run away from her or hurt her. Swoon. He admits that's why he hesitated and acted so confusing before, he wanted to be sure how he felt, especially since the both of them were coming from broken marriages. Or, oh, they're so adorably nervous and giddy as they confess their love for each other. Poong returns to Chiel Sung's apartment, which is gradually becoming Poong's home, too. He doesn't mention Sae Wu, but he does encourage Chiel Sung to appreciate calling Gum Granny, Mom. Since Poong's parents died when he was young, he doesn't get to call anyone, Mom, anymore. Chiel Sung tells Poong about Dim Sum and how he's Dim Sum's mother and Sae Wu's the father, and how them being a couple, even in jest, made his heart flutter. Chiel Sung thought he was over his crush on Sae Wu, but apparently not. He likens himself to an expired can of food that you just can't throw out. Poong looks like he's about to tell Chiel Sung about his new relationship with Sae Wu, but gets interrupted by Marain Dal and thinks better of it. In the morning, Chiel Sung makes the infamous almond dish. Sae Wu literally skips to work in anticipation of the food, and seeing Poon, too, I'm sure. It's so cute how happy Sae Wu is to eat his food, and how happy Poon is to see her so happy. Chiel Sung stands outside the restaurant, pretending he's not anxiously waiting for Gum Granny to stop by. But she's nowhere to be seen. Or, Happy Wok is busy with the lunch crowd, thanks to the success of the whole shrimp menu, and Sol Ya happily anticipates that after the banquet, they'll become even more famous once word continues to spread. Young Hai grabs the wrong dish to serve a table, and Poon barks at her, berating her for messing up an order and setting the kitchen back since they have to fix it. During their break, where they enjoy some requisite Subway PPL, Sol Ya, Sae Wu, and Geo Young comfort the distraught Young Hai, who asks that they never mention.